my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is just supporters. This demonization of is unconscionable, and it's un-American. I've never been so offended by anything in my whole life. Joe Biden stated that our supporters are garbage. He's talking about the Border Patrol. He's talking about nurses. He's talking about teachers. He's talking about everyday Americans who love their country. Biden's garbage brain is wrecking Kamala's garbage campaign. And it's a lot of fun here on our side. We don't mind being called garbage men. We've been called a lot worse, like insurrectionists, Nazis, racists, and all the things. Their words have no meaning and no power anymore, but they do reveal who they are and how they think about their fellow citizens. And so J.D. Vance is talking about this, saying, here's the actual video. Now, these journalists are covering for our catastrophic error from our president, where he called MAGA supporters garbage. And then we're going to go through the transcripts on this because they invented this apostrophe. It came out of nowhere. And they are now trying to spin this as though Joe was talking about the comedian because it was an apostrophe. They just shoved this invented apostrophe into his mouth like they shove other words into his mouth and ice cream cones after the end of a busy day. So here's what he said. And then there's a lot of reaction to this, okay? Because J.D. Vance is dunking on him. This was revealed to President Trump on the stage by Marco Rubio, and so we'll play that clip. And then we've got reaction. Walls is asked about it, and even Caitlin Collins is like, apostrophe? What are you talking about? We heard what he said. Okay, it's pretty obvious. So here's our demented president, who some people are thinking, maybe this is a little intentional, right? Maybe Joe's not so demented. He came out here and he's trying to kneecap Kamala in the middle of the campaign, and then that would set off a whole sequence of events, right? If that were true, if he were really trying to sideline her, then she might want to instinctually create some distance between the two, and if she does that too much, then Joe Biden might be mad at her and might try to kneecap her harder. So it risks mutually assured destruction if that is the intentionality this late in the game. And my instinct is it wasn't intentional because he then came out on X and he posted a a statement. He's like, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean what I said. So somebody else wrote it for him back in the White House room, whatever, wherever they keep him. But here's what the president said. Puerto Rico, where I'm from, my home state of Delaware, they're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is just supporters. His demonization of seen as an unconscious and it's un-American. Okay, so it's two thoughts. The only garbage I see out there is his supporters. It is unconscionable that something would happen. They're trying to create an apostrophe in there. The only thing I see out there that's garbage is his supporters, is us, racism, bigotry, whatever else he was saying there. So that's what he actually said. Now, the transcript looks like this. From the White House, okay, this is what they provided. They said, well, and just the other day, a speaker at his rally called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. Well, let me tell you, something. I don't, I, I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know or a Puerto Rico where I'm from in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters is his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable and it's un-American. It's totally contrary to everything we've done, everything we've been. And so it looks like somebody typed that in the notes app. Okay. Actually. And then sent that over. So what's your uh, transcript look like? And uh, that is obviously ridiculous. Did they talk to Joe Biden to see if he meant it that way? Well, turns out they didn't, right? So here is another interesting post that came out. So here's my write-up from Alex Thompson. He says, what? what, what? They put an apostrophe in there. What the hell? Says, I asked the White House how they knew that Biden only meant supporters is up, as they have it in this transcript. Did they talk to Biden to ask him what he meant? The spokesperson asked to go off the record. So where did Joe get that apostrophe from? Can you tell me that? He says, well, can we go off the record to discuss this? No, we can't. We declined. And so they didn't comment further. Oh, they didn't want to talk about it. Interesting. Operatives in both parties instantly saw it as a flashback to Clinton's basket of deplorables remark. And of course, Axios wrote a full piece about it. But J.D. Vance was also dunking on this all night long. He said, this is disgusting, okay? Kamala Harris and her boss, Joe Biden, are attacking half the country. There's no excuse for this. And I hope Americans reject it. And they were hyperventilating for days. Well, not that long because Joe Biden just upended them. But very upset about a comedian making a joke about Puerto Rico. I was listening to C-SPAN one day doing show prep and some Puerto Rican called it. I've never been so offended by anything in my whole life. By comedian's joke or something like that. And it was very interesting. So I wonder if he's going to be as offended here, right? And if they're going to hyperventilate over this. No, actually they're trying to backpedal and say that Joe Biden didn't mean what he said. Here's how it looked when Trump got made aware of the announcement from Marco Rubio out on the campaign stage. So we're thrilled to be joined by some incredible people. I already mentioned Senator Marco Rubio. Marco, will you come up here, please? Come on. 
What's up, Marco? Good man, this one. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but I have breaking news for you, Mr. President. You may not have heard this. Just moments ago, Joe Biden stated that our supporters are garbage. True. He said are it. Garbage. He's talking about the Border Patrol. Yeah. He's talking about nurses. He's talking about teachers. He's talking about everyday Americans who love their country and want to dream big again and support you, Mr. President. And I hope their campaign is about to apologize for what Joe Biden just said. We are not garbage. We are patriots who love America. And thank you for running, Mr. President. Garbage. So yeah, garbage. Pretty bad word. Remember, Hillary called people deplorables and garbage is even worse than deplorables. Here's what Trump said about that. Remember, Hillary, she said deplorable and then she said irredeemable, right? But she said deplorable. That didn't work out. Garbage, I think, is worse. Worse, right? Yeah, it's pretty bad garbage, but we're okay with it. We're used to being called names by the label people who just hyperventilate over labels. Doesn't really bother us that much. For them, it's a big deal. Wow, all right. So they are now trying to cover this puppy up. Joe Biden came out with an apology kind of a thing, a clarification. So some person wrote this for him. Said, earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporter at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage. All right, this that one comedian only is all he's talking about, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. He didn't do it. Now, that's all I meant. It was a joke. That's all I meant to say. The comments at that rally don't reflect who we are as a nation. All right. Well, your comments don't either there, Joe. And that's part of the problem is his was a comedian. He was, it was a joke. Trump didn't say it. You're the president of the United States. Maybe you should be a little bit more careful with your words before you demonize half the country. Here's the rest of the Axios comment. They say operatives in both parties instantly viewed the report as a flashback to Hillary. The comment came in a video with a progressive group called Voto Latino. So he goes on with a, it's first of all, bigoted, honestly, it's Latinx. Their group told us that. Their party told us that. So the Latinos should be offended, I guess. According to them, it's their rules, not mine. When Biden wanted to respond to a comedian calling Puerto Rico an island of garbage, on the call, Biden said, the only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Axios left off the apostrophe because that's what he said. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. Trump has not been doing that. It was a joke. The only garbage I see floating floating out there, they said, is his supporters is when the transcript came in from the White House, asked if they had spoken with the president to ask him what he meant before you wrote the transcript. Well, they said, well, uh, can we go off the record? Joe Biden is not conscious right now. So we really couldn't talk to him. Axios declined to go off the record and the White House didn't respond any further. Okay. After this story was published, the spokesman told Axios the staff did speak to Biden about what he meant to say to inform the transcript. Axios then asked for more details and the White House decline again. J.D. Vance called the comments disgusting. Biden posted a clarification X. The Trump team has already started to fundraise off this and they sent an email out that looks like this. Sean Davis got a screenshot for us. Trump immediately, Team Trump sent this out 914 afterwards. You are not garbage. I love you. You are the best our nation has to offer. Love your president, your favorite president, Donald Trump. Don't forget to vote. Very nice. So you can see it's very emotional. We all feel like we're well tears of joy for being told we're the best our nation has to offer. It's true. Now, even Caitlin Collins is saying, what? We know what they said. There's no apostrophe in there. It's ridiculous. Oh, and the White House is trying to say that what President Biden was saying, they're putting an apostrophe there in supporters, saying it's the singular, I guess, referring to the comedian, that supporters comments. I mean, it's hard to really look at that when you can listen to it for yourself. Oh, and when the White House <laughs> yeah, it is hard, isn't it? You can see very clearly. We know what was happening there. But anyways, now they're going to go back and say he's got a stutter over on the other CNN panel. So there's a mixture happening here. Some people said, well, we can just listen to what he said. It's pretty obvious on his face what he said and meant. And by the way, the Democrats do think this, right? They think that if you're wearing a red MAGA hat, you're an insurrectionist, anti-democratic Nazi, right? I mean, like that's the language that they're using. Fascism, end of America. You got Mika Brzezinski and the other woman who are crying about women being killed. All right. Mika said they are killing women. What are you talking talking about right now. She said they're killing women and she was not looking so good after a rough night after the polls came back out and hit them in the head, waking up next to cranky Joe Scarborough. Rough day. So anyways, here's the other component of CNN talking about it. Say though, Bakari, he was, he was in his house, the White House. He was in his house doing this. And the reporting is that there are places that he could be useful, but he's not everywhere. Like you might expect a sitting president to be for 
his vice president. I, I don't know that I would expect this president to be everywhere in this moment. I mean, look, a critical element, any coach will tell you, any CEO will tell you, a critical element of running a team and winning is assessing the strengths and weaknesses of your team members and making sure you allocate them in the right way. So Joe, Joe Biden has, no has never been a big arena speaker. He's never been the most fluid speaker. And by the way, as someone who had a stutter growing up, it's very obvious to me that there's an apostrophe at the end of supporters oh, there. He was referring to the garbage spewed by supporters, oh. not simply the supporters themselves. Oh, and he had a stutter too. So you can't challenge him because he overcame that challenge. And he can see more clearly than we do because he's suffering the same verbal affliction as Joe. But Joe Biden has been on the campaign trail. He's best getting ice cream in Maryland like he was today. He's best showing moments of empathy in Arizona like he was last week. He's best with union folks as he was in Pittsburgh last week as well. Um, you use people where they are best. You put Obama in a big arena, you put Michelle in a big arena, and you put Joe Biden in front of a bunch of union people doing retail I mean, politics. You could make the argument that they would be fine if Joe Biden wasn't anywhere near a well, microphone you, between now and next Tuesday. But, yeah, you, let me just accept the most charitable framing of this, which you just gave. Yeah. Why is he sitting in front of a laptop at the exact same moment Kamala Harris is out on his backyard trying to give the closing argument to her campaign? What? in the world is he doing? Now, I don't accept your framing of it personally because I actually do believe he, Harris, the Democratic Party, and most of their campaign do believe that half the country is garbage. Obviously. They've also said people who go to Trump rallies are Nazis. And, and so it's pretty apparent the disdain with which the they bridge. hold half of the country yeah. in. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not true. Yes, it yes, it already is. Joe, oh, Joe Kearney already but, but litigated but it, but it as in a, Kamala's speech tonight. But as a tactical matter today, no, but you don't just get why to say in the world is Joe Biden getting giving remarks at the same so, uh, time. I, 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 I'll, 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 I'll give you, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> Okay. Well, I think Joe Biden doesn't like Kamala Harris and vice versa. And so there's a prickly relationship there. But why is Joe Biden speaking during her closing argument? And I think this captures took all the energy away from her closing argument, which was her stupid ellipse speech yesterday, which I think was trying to resurrect the images of January 6th as though that's working for them. Yes, January 6th even harder. That's going to work out well for you guys. People are really concerned about January 6th when they can't afford groceries. All right. So here is the energy being sucked out of Kamala's closing argument over on CNN. And all good news. J.D. Vance said, the only garbage I see floating out there, this is how Politico framed this. They said Biden in a Zoom call said that the only garbage was the hatred of Trump supporters, right? Was the hatred. He didn't say that at all. Didn't say that even close. Politico changed it. Did, do John Lemire and Politico have an ounce of integrity? Answer, J.D. No. Will they correct this obvious falsehood? No, they won't. So they just rewrite it. It's like 1984. And I know that analogy is being resurrected a lot lately, but it's it literally, I mean, what? It's, it's an example in the book. They just, whatever you say, they change it. Biden in a Zoom call said the only garbage was the hatred of Trump supporters who said things about Americans. That's not what he said at all. They changed the whole statement because they're partisan hacks. RFK Jr. came out, said deplorables, Nazis, garbage, fascists. Can we talk about other issues other than dividing Americans? No, because that's what they actually believe. Now, here is another meme from Sean Davis. Here's how Biden looks at Americans. He says, an everyday American American who's working his butt off, multiple jobs, not sleeping at all, stressed out, says, I can't afford food and he, an illegal immigrant killed my family. Biden says, well, you're human garbage, Jack, slurping his ice cream cone. Very, very appropriate. And of course, Byron Donalds came out to lay down the news on his take on this. And here's what he said. My response is, is that the first statement from Joe Biden is the one that he truly believes. He does not think that people who disagree with him or his party who support President Trump are you know, are Americans. He thinks that they're garbage. That's a fact. And, and the reason and what I go back to is four years ago, around this same time, it was Joe Biden that went on the Breakfast Club. And he famously said that if you couldn't vote for him, then you weren't black. It's the same Joe Biden made the same type of statement four yep. years ago. So this is consistent with who he is. Look, I think right now what we have is a contrast in presidential campaigns. Donald Trump has been on the campaign trail talking about fixing our country, ending a lot of the travesties from the Biden-Harris administration, making America great again. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Tim Walls, for that matter, they're running around talking about the, the rally and MSG was a Nazi rally. Right. Well, Laura, I spoke at that rally. So did Harry O, the founder of Death Row Records. So did Vivek Ramaswamy. So did Tulsi yes. Gabbard. I don't think the Nazis will let us speak at their rally. I don't know. So that hateful rhetoric know, is Byron. coming from the left and it's got to stop. I don't know. I don't know, Byron. I don't know. You're going to have to be the judge of that one. Uh, maybe there's a new Nazi party at play here. Very complicated. So hilarious. I mean, 
mean, yeah, he spoke there at the white supremacist rally. White supremacist Byron Donalds. Hysterical. All right. So he's awesome. So garbage brain Joe Biden fails yet again, right when it hurts Kamala the most, right? As she was trying to get all the attention and spotlight on her, Joe Biden comes in and drops another Biden and she's going to have to suffer the consequences. We'll see how it works out for her.